So you're looking to increase the quality of your recordings, your streams, that sort of thing. And you like mono gear. You want to increase your professional look and sound overall. Well, you're in the right place because mono has released something new for my mono enthusiasts and it is a new software it's called the mono arena software for your gaming your stream your content creation youtube video creation like this and it is somewhat of a mixer setup right a virtual mixer because it's software when it comes to the physical hardware it has to be mono stuff right now there's only mono compatible devices for this software so the mono pd 400 x is one of those it will auto detect your mono pd 400 x as the microphone and you're ready to rock and roll with all of your content whether it's music streams browsers apps and you can route that all into a recording into a stream and i'm going to show you how to get the mono arena software how to download it which is nothing really you just download it from the site install it and you're done and we'll take a look at that right now let's just jump into it the mono arena software in your face techies and gamers now this is relatively new so there's going to be things that probably most likely will need improvement and will get fixes and upgrades going forward so this is somewhat of an early look at it right it's out and published but you know things are always getting refined and improved along the way so the arena software what is that exactly well we can read it right here the arena is a virtual mixing software designed for game streamers and content creators which offers the highest control over your audio whether you're a game streamer youtuber content creator it routes your audio sources into one intuitive one intuitive mixer that gets the perfect sound with professional mix processing and creates completely independent mixes to meet all your needs fully compatible with the dm30 rgb pay attention only certain microphones at this time are compatible the pd 200x and the pd 400x windows 10 and up so you basically just download it if you need a user guide this has a full user guide on what all of the features are with this software if i don't cover it don't be mad you can come here and get extra extra details i just want to give you a nice little overview and crash course of what this is all about you download it install it once you install it, it looks similar to the mona link app right here but not exactly but once you launch it it will come in like this in your face nice little clean not too many buttons and functions interface which i kind of like so you don't get lost you have all of your sources your physical which is your microphone and your virtual sources here which will be apps steam your chat discord for example your browsers as well as your music and i believe there's probably more sources you can add here i can go to manage audio sources here and i can go to my virtual sources and you can see i have a system virtual and the ones that are already added are in gray they are up here and you can just remove them as such like that finished and you'll see you have less sources right so pretty cool just a quick overview first and foremost we got up here at the top we have the option to application configuration so you can kind of just select which applications and which source you want to be heard right now i have vlc going through music and my browser is going through microsoft edge so and we have obs and we can check those off as we go along whatever other sources and applications that we're going to use here in a virtual way it'll show up here at the bottom like discord for example if that's going to be your chat app stream headphone and chat so stream is the mode or the menu here that you're looking at which is the stream applications right and the stream hardware everything will show here what you're streaming how to set it and so forth in the headphone section is what you want to monitor and listen to so you can have all of these linked right and if you don't want to listen to i don't know your browser but it's playing music in the background or something you can unlink it or you can just mute it and you don't have to hear it and the same goes for chat you select the chat and you want to check off link mute the chat apps that you want to be using the audio sources you can just have those minimized as well or rather just muted or turned off or unlinked 
from your stream. You can actually select them from here as well or what you want to listen to as well, right? So right now you can play this and when you make the switch, you'll be listening to your headphone, right? This is a fast switch and then you go like that switch, you'll be monitoring your chat. So cool little quick feature there on the bottom and then this actually switches the entire mode for the features you want to configure, whether it be your stream, headphone or chat. So right now I have my monitoring off. So you don't see levels here on my left and right on the top for my microphone. So if I unmute that, you may get an echo because I'm recording the source and I'm probably also recording this software here. But the cool thing I want you to see is that you see the sound waves showing on your left and right channel. So if I stay quiet, it goes silent. And then you'll see how high up it goes up. It makes a longer bar. And if I talk lower, you see that it's lower input. So you know the levels of your audio. Another thing we can do with the Moan Arena app is modify microphone properties and settings. And all you have to do for that is literally just click into the box here and you'll get this little pop up and you'll see options for the PD200X, which is what I have connected just for this demo. And well, a lot of these features you see here in this window are similar to those you see in the Mona Link app. That's right, so just starting from the top, you see your levels and looks like I'm at a pretty good gain level here already. And with this, we can mute that right there. Then we have headphone volume for monitoring. You can turn it on or off. Gain control, obviously, uh, you can't mute with this one. This is the one that mutes it. Then you have RGB lights. You can turn that on or off. Control the brightness of your RGB as well as all of the colors associated with your microphone, which would probably be just the PD200X and the DM30, which are the only ones that have the RGB. PD400X does not have RGB. Then on the right, you'll see some equalizer settings, right? This is all EQ. These are just some already made out of the box EQ settings. Low heavy, this will change the, to a low heavy property, probably a bassier muffled sound. Natural, probably out of box audio. And then you have bright, which probably lifts up those high ends, which kind of sounds good to me. And classical, can't really tell what's the difference between classical and natural, but I like bright. Then at the bottom, we have some other EQ settings, flat mode, which is just a flat EQ, high pass filter, drop off some of that bass. And then we have presence boost, which boosts up the midtones, which is your vocal tones. And then you have high pass filter plus presence boost, which is kind of cool if you want to mitigate some of that bass and bring up your voice. So pretty cool features we have here. This is probably my favorite one. And yeah, it's awesome that they have this built into this app and not necessarily have to go into the Monolink app unless you want to apply things like limiter, compressor, and noise gates, which are included in the Monolink app, not included here. So this is still quite awesome and it's relatively new. So who knows what more they will build out in this particular application for microphones. And then if you click on the icons here in the box, you'll see that it changes the actual audio visual of it, right? So it's kind of, you can control gain this way and you can control gain this way. So you can see the actual digital numbers for what gain level you're on, and same goes for all of them. And we have our game, but right now we don't have a game running. We have Steam running in the background, but no games running. But if you did, you can configure that by these little drop downs. See, right now I have Edge going, and if I hit my Windows key, pull up Edge, and maybe go here and play some music, you'll see that I have my audio going from Edge here, fully controllable, via the app itself. I can raise the volume. Wow. Look at those sound waves. And I can drop it down to keep it really low as music in the background, if that's kind of what I wanted. And if I wanted to add, right, any of the more channels that I have here, if I wanted to add one more additional channel for streaming, I can click this and select uh, music. Right. And right now, one of the apps that I have for music or that has audio that can play music is my VLC player, which in the background is not actually music. It is a uh, video. So I have myself looking crazy here and I'm reviewing some fine speakers. Be on the lookout for that. So right now I have the VLC playing as a music background, for example, but 
That could easily be Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that. The other way is I can click the other icon tab in the top left and go to audio source management. I can also add them from here. So if I wanted to add a system, for example, I can add that finish and now system will be populated here. And right now I don't have any applications or anything to add to system, but you get the idea how this kind of works, right? If we switch to the larger application audio configurer, you can check off individually which ones you'd like to have routing audio sources to what, right? For chat, for stream, for your headphone. Now, if you look here on the bottom, right, you have these two little icons, right? One is for fast mute router. So by clicking that button, you'll see that you get all of your sources here, which are your stream headphone and chat sources. And then you can mute and toggle on and off which ones you'd like to be playing through which route, right? Be it your stream route, your headphone or your chat route. So right now I have everything going everywhere, but you can simply turn these off. So if I wanted my music to go off or my browser, my browser music just turned off and it turns it off for everything, right? I can just turn it off for headphone or I can just turn it off for chat, right? But if you hit the one for stream, it cuts off every last one of them. Over here, you have your output sources. Obviously, you can output your sound to your headphones. Right now, I have it going out to a speaker, so you're probably getting some playback. Let me go ahead and mute my browser here for a second. There's another button here on the bottom, and what is that button? It is your sound effects panel. That's right, so like an audio mixer, you have the option to have sound effects in your stream. So you have applause, you have awkward, crows, you have a large crowd booing you, cheering, okay, I don't know, you're a school teacher and the kids are cheering for you, gunshots, very bassy gunshots, heavy, ooh, and ominous, laughter, laughter's pretty common, and opening, and you have some music here. If you look at the icons here, you're gonna see that there's some other icons inside of these little buttons, right? So you have like a little arrow. Looks just like a replay thing, like a looping sound, and I don't know what that is, but if you right click any one of these buttons, that's right, right click, not double click. You bring up the options for your sound pad and you can assign, that's right, assign colors to them. So your little sound waves here will be um, colored the way you like. So you can color identify them if you don't want to have to read. You can name them here as is. You can import files. That's right, import sounds. Looking at these three little buttons on the bottom, that corresponds to what you see on the top right here, the options for each sound pad. So a one shot is when you just click it it just plays it and if you just click it again, right? It's not gonna stop it. It just kind of plays it over and over. So by clicking that, you have the option to toggle. What does toggle do? Let's see. You click it, it plays. You can stop it, play again, stop, play. But what it's doing is it's looping. I have it on a loop. Right, we have loop on, we can just click that to loop off. What it's doing with continue is, if you have it on continue, it just continues from the point where you clicked and stopped it. If I click it and press it again, it pauses the sound where you clicked it at and it continues it. So that's what continue is. You can turn off continue and set it to replay and on replay and on toggle, you have it so that when you click it, it stops it, clicking, stops it after you click it once, you click it, plays, stops. But it starts it again from the beginning. So that's that mode, but if I change to hold, that's different. So if we hold the button, we have to hold the mouse button to keep it going, and it stops, and then it stops it, and then it starts it over, and you have to hold the button. If I just click it, it won't work. So a lot of options here for these sound effects, it's a little impressive, 
somewhat a little overboard. I, I don't know if I would actually use the hold feature to hold it. Toggle will probably be the thing that I use. I have the music playing and if I click it, it stops it. That's kind of the way I would like it because sometimes these sounds, some sounds you have may be long and you don't want it to keep going. You just want to play a little quick instant of it. Mm -mm -mm, right, and you don't want to go the whole minute. You just want to stop it. A lot of features here. And of course you can control the volume level, right? Other little options you have with this software is to upgrade firmware. So if you need an upgrade for your microphone firmware, the PD400X, PD200X, there's that option as well. Right now I am fully upgraded, so no firmware upgrade needed. So if I click the X here, it'll tell me whether if I want to minimize or, cl or close the arena, which I, if you're using it, you don't want to close it. So you just can have it to minimize the window and check this box off if you don't want it to prompt you. So that's about all of the options you have here for the Arena software by Mono. Pretty impressive with the nice set of features you have built into this software, this virtual mixer of sorts. If you guys have any feature requests for this, feel free to leave those in the chats. I have communication with Mona so I can kind of present some of those options to them and they can either take heed to it or choose not do anything, leave it as such. But I trust that they listen to, I guess, us content creators out here who put a lot of content out there for Mono. Links are in the description if you're looking to download the software. I'll leave that direct link there for you as well as for the microphones that are available for this software if you're in the market for a microphone, the PD200X, PD400X are two of my very favorites aside from a couple of other five finds. And you have the DMG, I think it's a DM30 RGB mic is also compatible with the software. So those are three devices that work with this software. And I've done full reviews on that. Check the reviews, links in the description. Just check down there. All that information is there. If this gave you a little bit of value, you hate my guts, like, dislike, whatever, subscribe, <laughs> hit that bell notification. So that way I just annoy you on your phone and your iPad, wherever you consume content. That's right. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Later.